Hello student, today I am going to teach you how to find the focal length of convex mirror using convex lens. So for this kind of practical we require one convex lens, one convex mirror, one needle for object and one needle for image. And uh, one we require optical bench here which have measurement mark on it so we can easily take the readings so first of all we have to fix the position of convex lens so i'm going to fix it on 30 centimeter here you can see that the convex lens is fixed at 30 centimeter so i will mark as l for lens here we also have to fix the position of mirror so i am going to fix it on 37 centimeter so here you can see that i will mark as m for convex mirror at 37 centimeter so that should be the distance between convex lens and mirror is 7 centimeter now by moving the object needle forward and backward we have to find the inverted image of object needle in lens with the help of convex mirror then after i have to remove the convex mirror and after that we have to find the inverted image of object needle on the tip of image needle ok now we are going to start the practical so here you can see the clear inverted image of object needle in the lens with the help of convex mirror so by moving forward and backward we will find the inverted image as you can see that here you get the inverted image but by moving your eyes left and right you can see that there is some kind of parallax which we have to remove To remove the parallax between image and object, we have to move the object needle forward and backward and you can remove the parallax between them. So still you can see that here is some parallax. To remove that uh, I will move it backward. So here you can see that there is some decreasing the parallax between them so i am going to adjust this uh, object needle to remove the parallax between them after that i will show you the inverted image so here you can see properly that there is no parallax between inverted image and object as there is no parallax remain between the object and image so we can take the reading as we first uh, Fix the position of lens at 30 cm and the position of mirror at 37 so the distance between both is 7 cm and the position of object needle is 10 cm as you can see so the distance between object and lens is 20 cm. Now I will adjust the image needle such that we get the inverted image of object needle on the tip of the image needle for that we have to remove the mirror between them
Here once again we have to repeat the same procedure to find the inverted image of object needle on the tip of image needle. So here you can see the parallax between the inverted image of object needle and image needle. To remove this kind of parallax we have to move the needle forward and backward as you can see by moving the needle the parallax between them is decreasing after adjusting the image needle by moving your eyes left and right you can see there is not any kind of parallax between image and needle. So after removing the parallax between image and needle, we, now we will take the readings of image needle. So here you can see the position of image needle. 80, 81, 82 and 83 cm. So we get the reading of image needle is 83 cm. Now we will see the observation table for this practical. As we seen the position of convex mirror is 37 cm. The position of image needle is 83 cm. Now to find the radius of curvature we have to subtract the value of convex mirror from the value of image needle. So here we get the 46 cm. As we know the focal length formula f equal to r by 2. So here we get the 23 cm. Thus for second and third reading we get the focal length 23 cm and 24 cm. Please like, subscribe and share.